I'm not going. Please. I'm not going. That is ridiculous. No, I'm not going. Outrage over the reaction to a high school prank erupts at a school board meeting tonight. I think that it's important that they understand that, I'm sorry, that they understand that we run this corporation. They don't. Controversy over what was meant to be some innocent senior fun is escalating after school board members thought they had put it to rest. And this is the fallout after dozens of students were suspended and a janitor fired after thousands of sticky notes were posted around a school as a senior prank. Good evening, everyone. I'm Todd Connor. I'm Erica Fly. The punishments have been reversed, but as our Ebony Monet found out at a heated meeting tonight, for parents and students, that is not enough. Ebony? Erica, Todd, at tonight's school board meeting, some parents showed up to talk about the sticky note prank and to ask school board members to take a stance. But that didn't happen. Instead, things escalated and police stepped in. Hold on. I called in. My name is on there. I said I want to discuss sticky notes. Did anyone say to me, no, you can't? No. No. So that is on the agenda. So With her name on the agenda, grandparent Donna Watson came to the Mill Creek Community School Board meeting with a mission. You can have me physically removed. I'm going but to my do name that. is Donna Watson and I live in Amo and I'm a Cascade alumni. All right. I would like to take this Can opportunity to discuss the What started as a senior prank has led some parents in the crowd to call for school administrators to step down. I think that it's important that they understand that, I'm sorry, that they understand that we run this corporation. They don't. Parents of some of the same students who decorated Cascade High School with 1,200 sticky notes back in May say they've gathered hundreds of signatures from people who want to see Superintendent Patrick Spray gone. And it's not just Spray. Some parents say Principal Kathy Tooley's punishments were out of line. The disruption in the school was tremendous, and we had a school board that didn't consider it a crisis, that didn't engage. So the lack of leadership is not only with the principal, but it flows all the way up through the school board as well. Administrators reversed the suspensions and reinstated the custodian, who lost her job after supervising the after-hour prank. Still, some people aren't satisfied. She was reinstated at a different school, in the middle school. And she was uh, also, it was going to go in her permanent record. And that's not acceptable. And I have a senior that will be in school next year as well as a freshman. To put them into that environment where there's a lack of leadership, where there's a lack of camaraderie or, or just a relationship that the principal fosters with the students is unacceptable. After tonight's meeting, I tried to speak with Superintendent Spray and the school board president to get their account of the situation, but both refused interviews. Erica?